Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at the energies between you and your person. What are you thinking about each other? And what can you expect in the near future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Messages, guidance, please. For Sagittarius, what do they need to know about the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time, Spirit? What do we need to know for Sagittarius? Oh, wow, there's a Two of Cups in love. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Using a new tarot cloth, let me know in the comments if you find it distracting. Let me do that again. Okay, mutual energies, King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Okay, a lot of action here. Fire energy. On your end, we have the Emperor and the Queen of Swords. On their end, we have the Star and the Queen of Cups. Interesting. potential outcome down here for the near future and then overall energy bottom of the deck the queen of pentacles a lot of people here seven of swords after that interesting okay um let me get some energies down before i tell you what i see but right away i'm thinking there's a lot of people here let me get some insight please aries aquarius energies we also have fire strong fire um Aries Leo Sagittarius I mean every sign is here water earth fire cups so I was like I'm missing one what are the energies for Sagittarius in love what do we need to know spirit what do we need to know about the energies for Sagittarius in love. Patiently waiting. What you desire will be given at the right time. Okay. What else? Falling leaves. Time changes everything. Okay, so time has passed here. Enough time for someone to be waiting for something to take place. Changes, transition, time. Time changes everything. And hidden feelings, silence, suppression, fear. Hmm. Unexpected event is at the bottom of the deck. Put that over here. So time has passed here. I'm speaking to a Sagittarius where time has passed or time is important. There has been a waiting period here. Um, I'm also, uh, there's something here with multiple people. This could be family members, friends, coworkers. This could be the way that someone is approaching um the action that they're going to be you know taking towards you like maybe they're a queen of pentacles and the way that they approach a problem or a queen of cups but i think that there is more than one person here on your side you have the emperor and the queen of swords so very um straight to the point energy here this is someone that sees a problem finds a solution deals with it communicates well your person has the star and queen of cups. Um, so hope, faith, renewal, a lot of emotion on their side here. It could be a water sign, like I said, but I don't think the sign is very important here because every single sign has shown up or at least every single element has shown up. So let's get some clarity with the clarifying cards before um, I say anything else. What I can say is that someone's gonna take action with the Knight of Wands here. There's motivation passion, impulsive um, decision making. Um, the Knight of Wands doesn't really think before he uh, acts. So let's get some clarity for Sagittarius to figure out what's going on here. Sagittarius, I also feel like you are more thinking about like logic, action, 
control or at least resolving the issue. Whereas your person on their end is more about how they feel. Well, the Knight of Wands. So a lot has happened to someone here to feel um, kind of overwhelmed because the Knight of Wands, I'm getting overwhelmed with that card. All right, let's start here with this Queen of Pentacles, overall energy. The Sun. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. What's going on, Spirit, with this Queen of Pentacles? Four of Swords. There's that Nine of Wands again. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, I think the sun is radiance clarity in this instance. Four of Swords with the sun, I think of someone revealing something, saying something after thinking or resting or not taking action. You say something. Something's brought to light with the sun. Queen of Swords also makes me think that there's something here to do with clarity information that involves a Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles for me as a reader, they tend to already be in a commitment. If not, they're more um, stable, secure. They have a lot going for themselves, business owners, entrepreneurs, etc. Um, loyal provider type energy with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be how someone sees you, Sagittarius, but it could also be that someone um, is involved with another person. So this could be like a third person. We'll see because I just started clarifying. But um, a lot has happened here with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, it doesn't happen overnight. That's something that's happening over some time. And, you know, the Nine of Wands is the wounded soldier. So they've been to battle. They've been to war. They've been through hell and back. And now they are affected by what they've experienced. That's why they're here kind of standing guard, wary. So I feel like someone... <laughs> When I see all of these energies together, I think this is involving a particular person. Something's come to light. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? For Sagittarius, why is the sun here? Five of Cups, yeah, something, something was disappointing. Um, I feel like whatever came to light, someone was really affected by it. Tell me about the sun. <clears throat> I'm also getting that someone could have been um, hiding how they felt about you. Maybe they've missed you this whole time. The Emperor. Aries energy there. See, no, I feel like this is someone that, you know, because the Queen of Swords also came up at the bottom of the deck. The Emperor, this is your energy. I feel like you found something out or something was revealed to you. Maybe it was really disappointing. Let's see. Ah. Tell me about this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Yep, Knight of Wands. So this King of Wands is the one that wants to take action. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. So this is going after a new opportunity. So this King of Wands, Aries, Eagle, Sagittarius energy, this could be you wanting to go after a new opportunity. Or this could be that someone wants to take action towards you bring you something with this Ace of Pentacles. You know, and there's so many ways to interpret this. I feel like I need to find out what exactly happened here. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. What do we need to know? The Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the High Priestess. Yeah, something was hidden, mysterious, secret. Could be involving a commitment with the Hierophant. Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant, I instantly think marriage. 
There could have been deceptions about marriage or commitment. It could also be that this is a third party and someone has been through a lot with that third person. Maybe they're in a commitment with that person and it hasn't gone well. Tell me about this King of Wands. Tell me about this King of Wands. What do we need to know about this King of Wands? The Magician. Yeah, this is someone that's very motivated to make something happen. They're going to give you something. Um, or you want to be given something. Let's jump into your energies. I have you on this side, Sagittarius, and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me more about these energies between Sagittarius and this other person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Tell me about Sagittarius. To this connection. Tell me about I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. So this could be you, Sagittarius, afraid to reveal your feelings, or this is what someone's actually telling you. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know? My heart belongs to you. Strong feelings here. Yeah, your person is very emotional. Like the, with for them, it's all about the feelings, the emotions, you know, the healing. I want a second chance. Yeah. Let me get. Get some insight, please. About Sagittarius and this other person. Tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. Message of concern. So, you know, this is about receiving a message or delivering a message and being concerned over the contents, right? Also, this fits with you finding something out, right? You're finding something out that might be disappointing to you. Privileged lady at the bottom of the deck family room okay um interesting i'm getting trust with that card whatever this message of concern is whatever that energy is about which i feel is um something that you're worried about listening to or hearing or something you find out and is concerning to you it's from someone you trusted you trusted someone you had your your guard was down with this person Tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with or thinking about. What do we need to know about their energies? Courtship. Yeah, so this person's thinking about starting over. Courtship is about the beginnings of a romance, the beginnings of a connection. You know, it's interesting because it's like your person's thinking about possibly healing something, fixing something, addressing something. Let's jump to your energy first. So let's let's find out what this emperor is all about. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Queen of Pentacles. I th this has been happening a lot. That when I, when I'm clarifying in these readings, it's confirming some other message or messages. Cards are coming up more than once. So again, the Emperor, Queen of Pentacles. There's a connection here. Can I get one more for the Emperor? Can I get one more for the Emperor? What do we need to know about this Emperor? Wow, the Lovers, Gemini energy. The Ten of Swords. And then the Ace of Swords. You see, I, I keep getting this message of like, whatever this Ace of Swords is about, it led to an ending or is about an ending or was difficult for someone. This could even be that you were finding out that you've been betrayed 
or taken advantage of with Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Also, this could be, you know, a symbol for endings and beginnings because the Ace of Swords is a 1 and the Ten of Swords is a 10. Tens are about completion, ones are about beginnings. So, you know, I'm finding it very interesting because I feel like this emperor found something out or it was whatever you found out was about a masculine energy. And, you know, I feel like this led to feelings of betrayal, to difficulty, to endings. This could even be that someone's telling you that they've ended a partnership as well. There's a lot of ways to interpret this. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Ten of Wands. Interesting. Once again, I get this message of like, whatever is coming to you with this Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, it's difficult with the Sun. You know, there's a burden here. There's a weight. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. What do I need to know? For this Queen of Swords. Wow. Knight of Pentacles. There's that offer or promise. I feel like someone wants to come to you after all of this and make you an offer of some sort. But the Queen of Swords, she has healthy boundaries. The Queen of Swords is not easy to approach. They're not easy to talk to. It's not easy to get beyond, you know, they can see right through you. So they can be a bit intimidating, you know. Let's look at your person. Tell me about this star. Tell me about this star. Why is this star here? Queen of Cups. You see what I mean? I keep getting like confirming cards, which is mathematically, it's not very probable. Um, how do I say it? It's very rare for that to happen, like mathematically. But, you know, I trust in the message, right? Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. I'm going to take this one. King of Swords. There's another Swords. You know, another symbol of communication and truth, clarity. You know, I'm getting here like this energy of someone revealing their heart. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. What's going on here with the Queen of Cups? The moon. Pisces energy again with the secrets hidden energy yeah it's like the revealing of feelings right secretly loving someone having these um feelings of doubt or insecurity because of what's hidden tell me about the queen of cups tell me about the queen of cups what do we need to know about this queen of cups yeah king of cups so much emotions here so much water energy here king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck cancer pisces scorpio energy here with water i feel like this is someone that's been hiding their love for you or vice versa but i feel it's your person might have been the one that was hiding how they truly felt but with the king of swords and the and the stars like this need to heal to talk about it to discuss tell me about the king of swords What do we need to know? The King of Swords. Ace of Wands. New beginning. So again with the new beginning. So when I look at all of these energies together, I feel like, you know, the tarot can only tell me so much Sagittarius. You know, keep that in mind. There's no card in the tarot that exists that says, I cheated on someone with my sister or brother or sister-in-law or brother. You know, it's not that specific. So I feel like there's something that definitely happened here. Because the Ten of Swords is here. The Five of Cups is here. The Nine of Wands is here. This King of Wands is very motivated to take action, to bring an offer to someone.
but I feel like time has passed since whatever has happened or someone has been patiently waiting for some time for, for you know, it's like you've been waiting for something to happen and now that it's here, it's time to like actually make decisions and do what you need to do. But the Four of Swords, the Moon, very similar energy. Four of Swords is someone that's not communicating. They're laying down, resting, reflecting, healing. I feel like one of you in this connection has been going through something very difficult, whether you were with another person or in a difficult situation, or you are not over what happened between you. And I think all of this is coming to a head. Someone's going to talk about their feelings, and I think it's your person. So let's see, what can you expect in the near future? There's the Ace of Pentacles again. Wow, the Ten of Cups. And there's this, the Four of Swords one more time. So there's definitely this energy of an offer because we've had three um, cards that tell us that there's an offer or something coming um, to you or being offered to another person. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles for me is like a promise of more. But let's see. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What do we need to know? Seven of Pentacles and the Hangman. So I feel like someone's going to be thinking about this offer. Not acting on this offer right away. Trying to see all kinds of angles here. Maybe worried about the outcome. Someone might have been even waiting for this offer to come in, but I, I, I sense there's a bit of a hesitation here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What do we need to know about this Ten of Cups? Wow, the Devil, Capricorn energy. Um. This is not, why the devil? Why is the devil here? Six of cups, wow. There's an attachment here. Could be an attachment from the past, a burning desire, being tempted by the past. Chained to the past, chained to the idea of, you know, a future happiness with a soulmate perhaps as well. I see both ways. The Fool at the bottom of the deck. So this is again about new beginnings and then the Knight of Cups. So, you know, there's this energy. I feel like this is someone that you dealt with a long time ago or in the distant past. Or there's a soulmate connection here that there's like, you know, it, it kind of follows you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn as well or someone with Capricorn in their chart. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Page of Pentacles and Page of Cups. You know what I'm kind of seeing here? And there's the Chariot, Cancer Energy. I feel like this offer is coming when you least expect it. Or... It's like someone's like speaking up, you know, like it, they were quiet, not taking action, not doing anything. And then now that's like changing because we have the chariot movement, direction, knight of wands, knight of wands has shown up, the king of wands, very active energy. It's like someone has been hiding their feelings, not taking action, not doing anything while they've been, you know, dealing with whatever they've been dealing with. And now they're ready to take action here. And it's in the form of expressing themselves. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Offers, right? And for some reason, I sense hesitation. So if this offer is being made to you, which I feel it is, it's like you're thinking about this Ten of Wands. You're probably thinking about whatever this is. So... I don't see you jumping in and that's this probably this message of concern where you're like you're concerned with what you're hearing you know it's kind of like you need to process this offer you need to think about it when it does come in and it's going to come in with this chariot knight of wands the magician the king of wands like these two get things done 
like these two energies these are doers and then you have the knight of wands with it too so these three energies here it's like something is going to happen and um i feel like this is a very complex situation feel free to let me know in the comments if you know you know want to share with me what exactly is going on but i think this has been happening for some time like this is all just kind of coming together now but it, ha it is not a connection that started three months ago i you know that's not that reading so you can expect some sort of um visit which didn't you have a, me a message about that like a visitor someone wanting to apologize yeah that was you sagittarius 